Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and in this video I want to show you how to properly create a virtual machine for the uh, Windows 10 build 9901. Um, this particular build right now has a lot of issues and a lot of bugs, so it's, it's tricky to actually get this uh, operating system running even on a virtual machine. So I just wanted to create a video so you can guys uh, test the, uh, the operating system as, as you wish. So the first thing we're going to do is um, uh, download and install VirtualBox if you don't already have it. I do use a uh, uh, VMware uh, workstation, but uh, it's it, I'm having the same issues that it won't install. I found this is the, the easiest way, and because we're getting a new build pretty soon, I wouldn't bother bother you know trying to spend too much time trying to figure that out. So I'm using VirtualBox and it seems to work. So I'm gonna stick with it at least for this build. So the first thing you have to do is uh, open open the uh, VirtualBox manager, go to new, and then we uh, type the name for the uh, for the virtual machine. And this time I'm just gonna I'm gonna name it 9901. Mm -hmm. I already have one uh, created, so I'm gonna use the dash two, and I'm going to choose uh, for this case Windows 8.164 bit. That will do the trick to install. Then we click next. We assign the uh, must, uh, you know the uh, mem the memory that you want to assign to this virtual machine. I got uh, I have a lot of memory to spare, so I'm gonna use four gigabytes for for this virtual machine. And for the hard drive, uh, choose the uh, create a virtual hard drive right now. Uh, click create. And here's a trick. Here's where uh, everybody's having problems because if you leave this as a default with the virtual box, uh, virtual box disk image, it won't work. Uh, it won't install. So what I end up using was the uh, VHC, the virtual hard drive, and this seems to be recognized by the operating system, and you'll be able to install. So this is the actual trick how to like make this work. Uh, now click next. Uh, just then all the default settings and click create now it's created now we go to settings go to storage and go to the uh, to the controller IDE and look for the uh, ISO I already have it right here but if not just choose choose a um, choose a virtual disk file and just uh, browse for it but I have it right here because I already used it and click OK. And now, as you see, I'm going to start this machine. And it should, the installation should start pretty soon. You see, there you go. Then just use, um, just do the basic, you know, install now, and, and just follow the uh, the steps how you will install any any operating system. Uh, you need to install. Uh, you need to uh, type the uh, the product key to install this version of the operating system. I I can't type it, uh, but if you look around, you'll find it. So just be smart how you look for it, and you'll be able to get it. It's pretty easy. So that's pretty much uh, all of it. And I just uh, hope this video was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.